Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This is going to be board system test 46 with the Firelight MS4424B fire alarm system. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> notification appliance on today's system we have a gentex shg 2415wr and this device will be doing continuous and is set on fixed 15 candela for a smoke detector in today's test we have a system sensor 2wb smoke detector now you may notice something a little different there is no longer conduit here i ended up taking the simplex test switch down and i ended up replacing it with a kida smoke and carbon monoxide alarm I do not know the model, but I can easily see on the back here. Model is KNCUSMXTR-BA, and this one is battery operated. I don't have it hardwired in, um, and it does play the voice message. So maybe in today's test, we'll go ahead and test this out. Um, I decided that for right now, I just want the test switch off the system. Um, no, I did not put it on the MS5ED system either. Um, it's completely off. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it. Um, it did get a good run on this system, but for right now, I decided that I'm going to take it down. At some point, hopefully in the future, you will see it be put back up. But for right now, I have completely removed it from the systems. For a second notification appliance on today's system, we have a Gentex HS24-15WR. This device is set on fixed 15 candela and will be doing Co3. For our pull stations in today's test, we have two pull stations. On the top, we have a Notifier LNG-1R. If we move down, we have a Firelight VG-6. All right, to start off today's test, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the Firelight VG-6. Here we go. Three, two, one. For next test today, I'm going to go ahead and activate the smoke detector by just spraying some smokes. Here we go. That should be enough. Should go off any second now. I will now go ahead and reset the pull station. So what I'm going to do is so I'm just going to go ahead and remove the screw. Eventually, once you loosen it enough, you can get it out by hand. Or manually get the screw out, I bet. There we go. There's the inside. I'm going to put this back into place. Tighten it back up, just like that. Now I'm going to go into the main fire alarm control panel, and I'm going to hit system reset. All right, to finish off today's test, I'm going to go ahead and pull the notifier LNG one R. Here we go. Three, two, one.
I'm now going to go ahead and reset this pool station. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to lift this back up. I'm going to go ahead and insert my key. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to push back into place just like that. Lock it back up. And now I'm going to go into the main fire alarm control panel. I'm going to hit system reset. Before we end today's test, I figured we'd go ahead and test this Kida smoking carbon monoxide alarm, especially because it's new to this location. Um, as I previously mentioned, this used to be where the simplex test switch used to be. That was taken down. So we're going to go ahead and give this alarm a quick test. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to comment, subscribe, and have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.